Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video and kind of outline an issue that I am experiencing with my um, Insta360 Go 2 uh, camera. So this is an action camera that just came out recently. Um, I ordered mine, I think at the beginning of April, and it just shipped to me and got to me here in the last four or five days, I think, uh, April 26 or something like that. So, uh, firstly, I want to say this is a great camera. Um, the quality is good, and I really love the form factor, which is the reason that I bought this thing. So, I haven't bought an action camera since uh, the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Uh, so, this is definitely an upgrade from that. And and bonus, too, that it you know, comes with this nifty little case. It's very small, um, very easy to operate. Uh, the problem, unfortunately, uh, that I experienced almost instantly out of the box with this thing is related to uh, its ability to connect to the Insta360 app. So the app um, is an important part of using this camera because, uh, you know, you connect to the app, you can frame shots, before you hit record, um, you know, be able to see that through the app screen. Um, and it's also a way that you access a lot of the videos and photos and things that you record on this device. Uh, it has some built in editing features. So, so the, and, and there's some, some settings and some record modes that, that are, you know, again, easy to use through the app versus, navigating manually through these menus and things like that. So when I go to connect the app uh, to the camera, um, you know, after I first received the device, it didn't connect. Um, and it has continued to not connect um, after hours and hours of troubleshooting uh, about 95% of the time. Um, now, what was weird to me was that a small percentage of the time I could get the camera to connect and work and work fine, completely normally, like, like it should. Um, but only in very specific circumstances. So that prompted me to kind of go a little bit deeper, um, with some of the troubleshooting that I was doing to kind of figure out like, well, why is this connecting? Well, for instance, like when I'm in my basement, downstairs basement, sitting in front of my computer desk, I can get this thing to connect 100% of the time versus, um, you know, right now I'm out in my workshop or if I'm out in my yard or elsewhere upstairs in my house, you know, I can't get it to connect. Or it may connect for maybe 30 seconds and then hang and, and then disconnect. So clearly there was, there was something going on. And when I look at the phone um, and I go to my phone's Wi-Fi networks and I watch you know, the, the Wi-Fi network that this thing is supposed to be pushing out, like sometimes I would see it show up and then disappear. So I got a Wi-Fi analyzer and I started going around and looking at what are the, what is the Wi-Fi signal doing when I am like sitting in my basement where it's working versus when I, when I'm out here, what's the difference between those two things? Why does it work one place and, and not the other? And I, I, you know, I, I granted don't have a lot of expertise here. So what I'm seeing, maybe it's a coincidence or maybe I'm, I'm not looking at the right things. But what I notice is that um, so so the Insta360 puts out a five gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. And where it broadcasts is at the low like the lower channels um, that, that on that five gigahertz uh, band. So, you know, the lower thirties or whatever that is, but it, but it kind of, it's on the lower end versus like my home Wi-Fi network is on the higher end of the, the channel list, um, to contrast that. And there are some other things. So, so like my neighbor's Wi-Fi, um, sometimes, and, you know, in various places in my house, I will pick up, if I look on a y, y analyzer, like the lower end, they're also broadcasting at the lower end of, of the channels. So, or, you know, uh, some of the other networks, Wi-Fi networks in the neighborhood. 
so what I notice is that anytime there is any other Wi-Fi network broadcasting in the same range of channels that the Insta360 Go 2 would be broadcasting, the Insta360 Insta360 camera is not broadcasting its network at all. Versus when I step down into my basement and I'm no longer getting those other Wi-Fi signals are not getting down into those rooms, into that area, suddenly the Insta360 Go 2 is pushing its its Wi-Fi out. So it's almost as if this camera, if it detects another network or if it thinks there's going to be interference, um, perhaps it's going, you know, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to broadcast my Wi-Fi signal. Now, I'm not sure if that is something that the software is doing by design, if that's a result of the Wi-Fi radio that they have built into this. I, I'm not sure. And I've and I've tried to troubleshoot this with Insta360 support, um, and, you know, we, did, we didn't get too far. So what, what they're telling me right now is uh, they want me to send my camera back in to have a repair shop look at it. They're gonna ship me another camera. I'm gonna I'm gonna retest this issue with another camera. You know, my suspicion is I may have this issue with the next camera that I get. Uh, and if I do, then that seems to be a different problem. You know, it's not a defective camera. It may be a problem that uh, you know either is a design hardware thing or it could be a, a software thing as far as when it's selectively choosing to push that Wi-Fi signal out. And, and if that's the case, then potentially there's a lot of people out there who are going to have connection issues with this device until um, Insta360 does something to address that. Um, so I plan on making an update once I, um, once I have my new uh, device and I can confirm whether or not this is a problem with you know, I guess just the unit that I have today, or if this is uh, something that's going to be a problem for a lot of folks and something they want to be aware of uh, when they're potentially going to spend $300 on this thing. Thanks. We'll uh, update you soon.